So we are going to create a new scene and it's going to be a 3D scene and let's rename it to buildings. This is where we are going to add all of our models that we want to use in the grid map. From my file system, I have a bunch of models that I downloaded from Kenny's website. It's from the modular buildings pack and what I'm going to do is just select all of them and drag and drop them into this scene. They are all added in the scene but they are stacking on each other. So you can just leave them as it is but I like to keep them in a separate grid like this. So this is all you have to do in this scene. You can go ahead and save the scene and then go to scene export as mesh library and now you have to save this resource file in your project so let's do that and you are basically done the mesh library is completed and now let's go to main and let's add the grid map node and in the mesh library here we are going to add in that resource file that we just created and now you'll see all of your models and you can select any of them and then you can paint it by left clicking and dragging and you can right click to remove the objects. You can press shift and drag like this to create a selection. And then you can use control F to fill in the selection with your currently selected mesh. There are other options available in this grid map menu. You can create floors and you can change your axis of editing. So for example, if I want to edit the Z axis, I can enable that and now I can paint like a wall or something like that. Let's switch it back to the Y axis and then there are other options. You can rotate your cursor in X, Y and Z axis and then you can uh, rotate them back in X, Y, Z and you can also clear the current rotation. You can copy and paste stuff right here and there is other settings like the pick distance which I don't know about. If I paint my meshes like this, you can see there is a huge gap between each of them because the cell size in Goto by default is set to 2 meters in each axis. So what you want to do is just make him one in each axis and now there won't be any gap between them and the cell is now properly set up according to your model. You might have to change this according to your models though. So yeah, if you want to stack buildings on top of each other, you can do so by creating floors. If I press E on my keyboard, so I'm on the second floor and I can just paint on that floor. As you can see, there is a gap between two floors. So that's because uh, my models are not properly one by one ratio. So I'm just going to make them 0.8 or something that works like this. So now they are properly arranged in a grid. So that's basically how you use grid maps. It's a very handy tool to make levels very quickly. So leave a like if you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.